In the summer jobs AP problem, students made statements like, females were 16% more likely to have never had a part-time job than males, or the percentage of females that had never had part-time jobs was 16% higher for females than for males. And by that they meant that a higher percentage of females than males had never had a part-time job, or that there was a difference of 16% in the never had a job category with the greater percentage of females never having um, a job. However, the first two statements are not equivalent to the last two statements. As a matter of fact, the first two statements are incorrect. And that is because people typically make a lot of mistakes in the way they talk about percentages. So let me illustrate. When we say um, that females were 16% more likely to have had a part-time job than males, or the percentage of females that had a part-time job were 16% higher, um, then we really want to ask the, what we're really saying that 60% is 16% higher than 44%, which means that 60% is equal to 44% plus a, another 16% of 44% or that 60% is equal to 116% of 44%. Well, when we want, if we want to check this out, we have to put this in decimal form. In other words, is 0.6 equal to 1.16 times 0.44? Well, if you calculate, you'll find out that's not a true statement. So let's find out what is true about that. If we say 0.6 is what percentage of 0.4? or what decimal value of 0.44. So x is equal to 0.6 divided by 0.44. x equals 1.36. So really, 60% is 136% of 44%. In other words, if we take 44% and another 36% of 44%, almost another one-third um, of, one, of 44%, then we would get um, 60%. Now, that that still might not seem very intuitive to you. You might think, oh, it just doesn't quite make sense. So let me give you a simpler example. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to put statement here. <coughs> the statement that the COVID rate is 50% higher could mean that it increased from 2% to 3%, or even from 0.02% to 0.03%, because 2% plus 50%, which is one half of 2%, is 3%. Okay, so you take 2% and add one half of 2%, you get 3%. So we say that 3% is 50% higher than 2%. We could even, and we could say that 0.02% plus one half of 0.02% is 0.03%. So 0.03% is 50% higher than 0.02%. But real, but really, it's only a 1% change in percentage in the first case, and a 0.01% change in percentage in the second case. So you can't say that the death rate is 1% higher, it, the correct statement is that the death rate is 50% higher, but it's only a 1 percentage point difference. So it's really important how you say what you mean when you're talking about percents. So be very careful that when you're talking about a difference in percent, that you mention, you say that it is a different percent, a difference in percent, rather than it is a certain percent higher or a certain percent more likely, because that means something totally different.